So friends, in the last class, we have learned the adjacency matrix representation of graph. And this class, uh, I'm going to show you how we can implement the graph data structure using adjacency list. So here we are going to make use of the linked list concept and the array concept uh, to prepare the adjacency list. If you have not watched the previous video where we have explained the adjacency matrix, please go and watch that video before watching this one, right? So first let me explain what is uh, the adjacency list representation of graph. Then we will be learning the code for that. So consider this graph uh, which has got four nodes A, B, C, D are also called as vertices and five edges among those four vertices, right? So first let me show you the adjacency matrix for this graph. So this is the adjacency matrix. Uh, the 0, 1, 2, 3 represents the nodes A, B, C, D. Here 0 is A, 1 is B, uh, 2 is C and 3 is D. Let us assume that. So there is no edge from A to itself. So there is 0 from 0 to 0, right? So 0 is A. 0 to 1 means A to B. So there is an edge between A and B. So it is 1 and so on, right? So if I want to prepare a adjacency list for this, I have to use the linked list and the array concept to implement that. So this is the array to store the vertices, namely 0, 1, 2, 3. So here there is a link from 0 to 1. 1 is representing the node B. So let me uh, name here. This node is 0, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3, right? So here there is an edge between 0 and 1 that is A and B. So that is why the address of this node is stored in the pointer of this node, right? There is an edge between 8, 0 and 2 that is why we have put a link in the first node to the node 2. So the node 2 is connected to node 3 because there is an edge between 0 and 3, right? So when we consider the node 1, I mean the node B, there is an edge between A and B and C and B. So that is why 1 is connected to 0 and 2. Here uh, the link or the pointer field of the last node contains null because there is no node associated with this one, right? So the node 2 is connected to uh, the A node, I mean the node with 0 and the node 1 and the node 3. So node 3 contains null inside the pointer field. And node 3 is connected to the 0 uh, zeroth node and the second node, right? So likewise, so this is called the adjacency list representation, right? So this is called the adjacency list. Now let me explain the code to define the structures required for this adjacency list representation and the code to insert the new node. So I have declared a global variable called max node. So this is a constant which has got the value 4. So this is the total number of vertices that I am going to have in my program, right? So here I am here I am using the structure to create the node. So node is the structure name which is going to create uh, the node to store the vertex uh, number, I mean to store the vertex. So a variable vertex num will store the vertex number and the variable called next is a pointer which stores the address of the next node which is again a vertex, right? So to store the address of the next node which is also type of struct node so this has to be also of the type struct node and I'm going to rename this entire structure as node that is why I used type def. So type def of this thing is node. Now this entire thing is renamed as node. Whenever I use node, that's, that will consist of a integer variable called vertex number and a pointer called next to point to the next node, right? Okay. So this is the node that I'm that I've created using this structure, right? So this is the vertex number and next is the pointer to store the uh, address of the next node. So this node is representing this entire thing, 
right so there are many other nodes also in the list okay now i have to create a, a head node right i have to create a node which stores the address of this first node so that is why i am using the list so list is a list of head nodes uh, each of which is going to store the address of neighboring vertices right so here uh, this structure is named as list let us define that so this is the structure and i renamed this entire structure as list so this is called as list the node is called as list and there is a variable called head inside this structure right so which is of type node right so this is of type node so that is why it can hold the address of the first node in the list so this head represents uh, the variable here right so this will store the address of the first node okay that's fine we understood that so just see here this is called as the head variable so this is the node list which i just explained right so one head node can hold the neighboring vertices of this node that is zero but i need a list of head nodes an array of head nodes how can i create that so i'm going to use an array here called arg list which represents the adjacency list of the node maximum of four nodes right because i want to because i want to create a graph containing four nodes so i have to re so i have to represent those four nodes using four head nodes now using this i can create an array of adjacency list uh, similar to this right so four head nodes to represent the four vertices and i have initialized with zero and the type of this array is list can you see here the type of this node is list and this can hold the address of uh, the nodes and i have initialized with zero later i am going to change the content let's go to the next slide so in the main function now i'm creating the array of head nodes here using this for loop uh, when i equals to 0 until i remains less than max node that means less than 4 so i'm going to create 0 1 2 3 nodes so here it is using the malloc of function i'm going to create a node which is of the type list and this is going to allocate me a block of memory required for one list structure and the address of the created node has been returned to adjust in the adjacency list of i that means adjacency list of 0 in the first block of array i will get the address of the first head node and i will store null there so this is what each iteration creates me now i got the list or the array of head nodes and now i'm going to call the add node function uh, by passing 0 comma 1 that means i'm passing the pair of nodes where i want an edge right and the add node function with 0 comma 3 and 1 comma 2 so i'm calling this function three times by passing three different set of nodes and i'll call the print list function as well to print the list out right let's go and uh, study this add node function now so here is the function add node it takes uh, uh, two parameters s and d uh, whatever we pass from this here so 0 is for s and 1 is for d right so that means for source and destination and here we have created three pointers destination temp and source all are of the type node right okay let's perform this so this will create a new node right if and only if adjacency list of yes had equal to null so let's go and uh, check this out so here it is adjacency list yes arrowhead equals to null that means adjacency list of zero uh what we passed from the first function called zero comma one right now let me store here zero and d is one so just for the remembering purpose okay s yes is zero one is d is one right so adjacency list of zero that means this node right so this is uh, arrowhead equal to null as it is so now create a block of size node and return the address to source variable so this is what we have got 
right null so now source is pointing to this node right so this has been created and store yes inside source arrow vertex num so s is 0 that is that we got here and uh, that is got into vertex num and source arrow next equals to null so we have done that now store the address of source the content of source inside adjacency list yes arrow head so that means now adjacency arrow head will point to this now so this is what happens right okay this is over so this is the continuation part of uh, this function I just put it aside so this is so this comes here right like this okay let's see what is there I will create one more node for destination right using the malloc function and this will return the address of the newly created node to the variable dest and I will store the content of day inside dest arrow vertex number that is one here and null inside destination arrow next right so this has been created now and now I'll use the temp variable to store uh, the adjacency list yes arrowhead that means so that is what is the code here and I'll run the while loop until temp arrow next until temp arrow next remains not equal to null so temp arrow next right so this is equal to null so this gets fail I will not get into the loop so what happens here the content of dest that means this node the address of this node will go inside temp arrow next temp arrow next is this so this will point to this node now so that is what happens here so this represents the first node that means the node with zero so zero is connected to one uh, recursively one is connected to zero so that is what happened after this execution so in the next call I'll pass zero three so 0 will be stored here and 3 is stored here right so everything now will be created freshly a uh, variable dest temp source all of our uh, pointers all are all of them are pointers now again let us start from the beginning adjacency list yes arrowhead equals to null is adjacency list yes arrowhead equals to null no this is not pointing so this is pointing to some node that means here it has not got null right so this will not execute only this part is execute I mean I'm going to create only the destination node now why is that because I will recreate this node with zero so I'm going to do that using the malloc function I'll create a new node uh, whose address will be stored in dest variable so here is that created now store d inside vertex num d is 3 so store 3 here and null goes here now adjacency list s arrowhead equal to temp now temp will point to this right okay and I'll run the uh, while loop until temp arrow next remains not equal to null uh, increment temp that means store temp arrow next inside temp what is temp arrow next so it is not null now because this is the pointer right this is next the address of this node I forgot to change the content here sorry for that now temp arrow next inside temp that means the address of this node is here and that I'm going to store in temp so now temp will point to this node right okay this happened now check temp arrow next not equal to null no it's equal to null in that case don't go inside just store the address of dash inside temp arrow next that means this will come here so this is the output right so this will not no longer be point or uh, null now okay so this is hap over now so now I'll call function again by passing one comma two right one and two okay again adjacency list s arrowhead equals to null so s is one so now it's pointing here is it null yes it is before uh, before we join the list to this node it is null right okay so this, this condition is true now now using the malloc function create a node and store the address inside source okay this has been created store yes inside vertex num that is one and null inside next 
right so that is been over and now store the content of source inside adjacency list s arrow head that means uh, adjacency list arrow lead uh, adjacency list s arrow head is this right because it is one so this will go here okay this is over now next what is remaining this will work. execute create a new node called create a new node using malloc function and store the address inside test okay created and store d inside vertex number that is true and null inside next okay that's created and store adjacency list as head inside temp now temp is pointing to this right okay is temporary next not equal to null no it's not now store the content of dest inside temp arrow next that means this will go here and now this will point to this node right here it is next so that's it we are done so the list has been created now if you want to pass some more nodes pass some more nodes and create list for this node or uh, these two nodes as well right now let's go and print it so here is the function for printing so this is very simple you can trace it by yourself so this will print the notes right i hope you understood the code if you have any doubts please comment below we'll try to solve it well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you